So Nicholas, to get to reporting, I wanted to make a brief celebrity appearance tonight. First, I want to announce that we must restore trust back to the Memphis business community and, of course, those of us who serve in government. And I'm calling upon Shelby County District Attorney um, Amy Rorick to enforce a sort of police state here in Memphis and Shelby County with the support of Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam and, of course, my connections with um, former President George W. Bush and, of course, um, President Barack Obama. We must restore trust back here in um, the great state of Tennessee and, of course, in Memphis and Shelby County. I would like to, you know, also express that, you know, several members of the business community tonight um, got in, you know, in a few troubles or so, somewhat. But at any rate, I'm not expressing any opinions regarding that subject. But I do think that Memphis and Shelby County will be a better city and, of course, county if we're under police state. And, of course, I'm calling upon Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam to partner with Shelby County District Attorney General Amy Warwick regarding my initiative as right-wing Republican candidate Nicholas Fadiz also known as the governor of the United States Congress 2014. You know, we may not always agree with the president of the United States. We may not even want to, you know, um, be, um, you know, compromised with the president. But we can always come together as one people, as one human family under the law enforcement. And I'm calling upon Shelby County District Attorney um, Amy Rorick and, of course, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam to, um, you know, move forth efforts into enforcing a police state here in Memphis in Shelby County and of course the great state of Tennessee meaning the police you know will have you know will enforce the laws here in Memphis and they will be very strict upon the laws you know we need curfews on Bill Street we need you know random police checkpoints here in Memphis and Shelby County we need tougher laws and we really need to protect our citizens um, not only in Tennessee's 8th congressional district but of course around the whole state of Tennessee especially in Memphis and Shelby County and protect the family, the children, and the women here in this great community. It's election season. I'm encouraging everyone to vote in election 2014. I am a writing Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. And of course, here are two unopened letters, one from President, former President George W. Bush, the other one from President Barack Obama, inspiring this initiative. Nicholas Figgis reporting, CNN Icon of Memphis. And of course, as my famous quote is, Princess Beatrix, it is your elected American boyfriend speaking. Everyone likes that slogan. But this is a very, very serious agenda, very, very serious initiative. And we must enforce our laws to protect not only women, um, but children and other families, you know, foreign families, people who come here must be protected. So I think a police state is a great idea. Nicholas Figgis reporting. Good night and um, go vote. It's almost election season. Nicholas Figgis, CNN Icon of Memphis. Thank you. Nicholas Figueres reporting here with Amy Retrich, the Shelby County District Attorney, who's going to be welcoming George W. Bush, president, former President of the United States, here to Memphis, Tennessee. He's going to be here July of 2012. Miss Retrich, and also to read the birthday greeting that he extended to me, which is pretty cool. I would be honored. This is from George W. Bush. It says, Happy Birthday. Laura and I are pleased to add our best wishes to your celebration. May your special day be filled with joy, fond memories, and the love of family and friends. Signed by George W. Bush. Absolutely. This is Amy Wyrick, District Attorney General for Shelby County. Welcome to Memphis. Thank you, Dis District Attorney Amy Wyrick. Nicholas Pegues report. Nicholas Pegues report. Ready on arrival of former President George W. Bush here in East Memphis. Good morning. Seen in our report on Memphis. So Nicholas Pegues reporting, District Attorney Amy Warwick, Say America, with Nicholas the Governor Pegues. Let's go. Nicholas Pegues reporting, CNN Student News, here with um, the equestrians who's going to be working with the White House today. Is that correct? Yes. So what is, what is your statement? 
Go America. Yeah, USA. That's USA. Nicholas Pegues reporting. CNN Student News. Thank you guys for your service. Yeah, no problem. Thank Nicholas Pegues reporting. Also known as the governor for United States Congress 2014 has just picked up my petition for United States Congress 2014 for scholarship purposes. Now, I'm not, you know, formally announcing a candidacy, but I am interested in the process and inspire my generation to public service. And so Nicholas Fugues reporting, yes, Republicans can elect Nicholas Fugues for United States Congress 2014 at a corporate thanks to Catholic nobility drafting Nicholas Fugues for United States Congress, the governor, CNN icon of Memphis. We can make a difference in our global community. A corporate thanks to the Shelby County Election Commission. Nicholas Fugues reporting. Nicholas Fugues reporting, CNN Our Report in Action News 5. And this is a letter I received from President Barack Obama. The Commissioner Heidi Schaefer of Memphis and Shelby County will be reading now. Dear Nicholas, thank you for your kind note. Your thoughtful words join a chorus of millions of Americans who are eager to lead our nation towards a brighter tomorrow. Each day I'm inspired by the encouraging messages of hope and determination I've received from people across the country. With the magnitude of challenges we face, we will only overcome them if our imagination is joined to common purpose. The future we leave to our children and grandchildren will be determined by our willingness to shoulder each other's burdens, take great risks, and move forward as one people and one nation. With your help, we will build on what we have already achieved and lay a new foundation for real and lasting progress. And it's signed, sincerely, Barack Obama, President of the United States. Thank you, Commissioner Schaefer, and I will work hard as a unified school board commissioner. Thank you.